Welcome to the Secret to Overcoming Poverty. I am your host, Dr. Philip Daniels. Today we're going to be talking about the law of occupancy. What is the law of occupancy? The law of occupancy simply states that two things cannot occupy the same place at the same time. Now, we're going to be talking about two kinds of thinkers today. Thinkers and non-thinkers. Thinkers convey thoughts into words and introduce new ideas. Non-thinkers recycle old thoughts and old words and live off of other people's ideas. Thinkers, they live on a creative plane. Non-thinkers live on a competitive plane. Today, if you're living on a competitive plane, I want to get you out of there. I want to show you how to overcome that poverty mindset. How do we do that? First thing you need to understand is that your thoughts can only be as strong as your mind. Now, a strong mind produces strong thoughts. That means that you're putting something inside of yourself that can help your mind be strengthened and stretch to the place where you need it to go. Now, the mind with a poor education can ultimately only produce poor conversation. If you're having a poor conversation, that's because your mind has a poor education. The mind and the mouth work cohesively together for the advancement of any particular goal. There's four things that you have to do with your mind. You got to give it, grow it, guard it, and allow others to gain from it. At all times, you must understand, you must be giving your mind the things that it needs. Then you must grow your mind by planting the seeds in it that it needs to be planted inside of it. Then you need to guard your mind. By guarding your mind, that means that you gotta let everybody have access to your mind. And you cannot let them old thoughts continuously run around in your mind and take up free space, free room and board. No, then after that, once you have given it, grown it, and guarded, now you gotta allow others to gain from it. Start giving it away. Because the more you give it away, the more you're gonna gain. The more love you give out, the more love you get back. Words are a powerful positioning tool for the mind, right? I want you to understand this. See, I got a principle that simply says that change does not come by chance, it comes by choice. One must choose to change. Simply, it is what it is. Either it will or it won't. Either your mind will produce good things or it's going to produce bad things. You cannot have it both ways, right? Every word that leaves your mouth must first live inside of your mind. And you are your mind. And there's nothing about your mind that is not you. Everything about you is your mind. People who do more can only do more because they have more to give. People who do less can only do less because they have less to give. If you got something to give, you need to give it. Stop waiting around. Stop thinking that it's just going to happen. You got to go and take control of it. You got to take the, the wheel and you got to get into the driver's seat of your mind and you got to drive that thing. You got to tell your mind what to do. You are the boss. You got to take charge. Hebrews 4 and 12 simply says that the word is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, the vision, the joy and moral, spirit and soul. Nothing can draw to you unless it first has an understanding with you. You got to understand that. Everything that you want, everything that you're about to do in your life, you got to remember there's a law of attraction. Things are drawn to you, but nothing can draw to you unless it first has an understanding with you. Just as nothing can come out of you that can richly reward you unless it first lives and breathes inside of you. Words possess the power to define the clear outline of every thought that is inside your mind. You got to help your mind to understand. And how do you do that? Because the mind is like a field. The mind does not care what you planted. It will produce whatever you tell it to. If you do not want to think it, do not perceive it. Because whatever you perceive, you will conceive. If you do not want to see it, don't you speak it. Because why? You can only plant inside of your mind the things that you want to produce. Remember, thoughts live and breathe inside you. Every thought you think, you only think it because you have planted it inside of you. That's the law of occupancy. Two thoughts or two things cannot occupy the same place at the same time. See you next time.